So my setup consists of the normal La Specialista. This is an $800 espresso machine. It's been great so far. Um, but it has a tray that's removable, the whole thing, or just the grate. And then you can see underneath we have this gray thing here, which pops up when it fills up, preventing you from putting an additional cup in there. This is supposed to indicate when, the, uh, when this is full of water or whatever um, spills in here, your spill tray. And um, slightly annoying to have to take it out, you know, dump it in your, in your sink and then put it back in. The other thing I've noticed is it often um, basically uh, will go through like a, a rinse cycle, a bit like the one I'm about to show you. And during that rinse cycle, it seems to do it when I'm not around and it fills up with water and it tends to overflow. Not sure why that's happening, um, but it, it, I think it does, I don't know if it does this when I'm not around or something in the background, but um, every time that uh, you do one of these steam cycles, I'm just doing it over the tray here, you're actually filling up that, that tray with water. As you can see here, and when I stop, if you listen carefully, I do something here, and it's throwing liquid into the tray. It's probably some kind of a rinse cycle for the steamer. Anyway, after a while, it fills up. But then every now and then, when I'm not expecting it, it seems to do a cycle like that, and um, all, all on its own, it seems to have a mind of its own, and then I'll come back and find that there's water all down on the floor, etc. So what I've done is I designed a replacement tray. Now, I didn't want this overflowing, so I wanted this tray uh, to collect the water, of course, and um, I wanted it to evacuate it to the sink. So very simply, what I have here is a 3 8 clear uh, hose, 3 8 outer dimension, I believe. Um, and then it runs through the back, which I'm going to clip down, and it runs into the, into the sink, as you can see here. And so the idea is, how do I fix this to the train? Well, you'd have thought that it would be easy, considering I could just probably make a hole, put an elbow in, I'm just going to empty the tray. Then I would have been able to put an emblem in, but actually there is no easy place to put a hole here because of the base. I would have had to put a hole through the base and through the tray. Plus I would be damaging the original tray, um, making it more difficult maybe to sell in the future if I decided to replace it. So basically I decided that I would make a replacement tray. 3D print one, because I have a 3D printer. I have the uh, Artillery Sidewinder X1, which is a large print size, and I uh, thought I'd print it. So I start off and I print a tray, a replacement tray, which I'm going to show you now. This is my 3D printed tray, as you can see here. And I printed it in two parts and then glued them together. The tray, which is basically a replica of the tray. And it, since I have, I'm going to be putting a hose to it, I wouldn't need this device. So I got rid of this in the design, and it's just basically contour tray, same shape as the one that you see there. Plus this part, which is where I connected the hose. And it worked pretty good for a while. The water would go in the tray, go down to the edge, flow into the bottom, and come out the hole. Except it leaked. The uh, hose attachment wasn't very good. Another thing I realized is if you look at my lights here, the warning is on. And that's because it's telling me that the tray is not in the machine. Okay, no big deal. Put my new tray in. Why it's still blinking? Why is it doing that? Well, it turns out 
that the original tray, the one you can see here, when I put this tray in, the warning light goes away. Take it out, warning light's there. Put it back in, goes away. All right, well, why is it doing that? How is it doing that? Well, it turns out that in this middle pan that I had not printed, uh, there is a magnet, most likely in this section here. Because when I put this in separately, the light goes away. Bam. Oh well, I was close enough, but fortunately, for a while, this fitted in here, and I was able to make it work. But there was still the problem of the hose back here not fitting very well. So ultimately what I did is I printed a new version. This time I made it gray. I put a slope. Now remember, this is just a prototype, so that it would slope away from the edge the other one was just flat, towards the hole where the water would collect. And then I changed the design of where the tube would fit in. As you can see, I welded the plastic together for the two parts instead of gluing it. That was a little bit better. And I plugged my hose in here. And I have it sloping, the water slopes down towards the hose and then I have it sloping down as well until it reaches the hose. And what the other thing I did is I made a space for a magnet, which I bought on Amazon, and then I just glued that magnet in there. And then now you can see the warning light. Warning light goes away because of the magnet. There we go. Warning light goes on. Okay. So all you need to do now is basically. Uh, and this is tricky because I'm going to try and do it with one hand, is grab your 3H hose that I run underneath and connect it to this, uh, this nozzle here. And then we're ready to go. So let me do that because I can't do it with one hand. So as you can see, I fitted it on. It's low enough to fit on. I guess you could put a clamp around it, but I didn't design it with enough room for a clamp. I just basically um, fit snugly. I haven't had any issues with it yet. I guess you could put a little bit of silicone in there if you felt that that was necessary. Now in order to glue these two parts together, which are in that file on Thingiverse, um, I used a, a soldering iron and I kind of welded it together. You could also use a plastic glue because this isn't necessarily the prettiest. Uh, the reason I had to do it in two parts is because the tray really comes out really nice um, when it's flat on the bed and um, it would have been a lot of support building in order uh, printing in order to uh, do it and it wouldn't have been a, a nice finish so basically doing it in two parts enables the product to look a bit nicer cleaner and then on this prototype the um, the slope here isn't uh, super well printed um, you could try printing it on its side like this if you want to and I think that slope would come out better but uh, I haven't tried doing that yet anyway so I'm gonna, I've got my tube I'm gonna put it into my machine the warning light goes away I put my, my grate on cool that works and now, I'll just do a test, get some water here. And then we'll just test it out. I'm gonna dump all of this water all at once. Normally, this never happens, right? But this is just to, to test it. Oh, and there is a very small leak there. So that silicone idea, it's probably worth doing. You can probably hear the noise. Pipes coming out the back, and the water's flowing down here. So it works. So you can find this on Thingiverse. I'll put the link link here in the the bottom of the video, and uh, and enjoy. 
small improvement to your De Longhi La Specialista. Thank you.